Okay, here's an update. Uh, I don't know, it's maybe an hour later. I went out to get a bite to eat, and I turned on my meter again to see what the voltage was. And right now, it's at 2.1 volts, but before, when I checked it, before I'm doing this vid, it was at like 4.6 volts, so much higher than it was before, uh, where it was just over 4 volts. And then, so I pressed my finger on it. So if I do that right now, just apply pressure, you can see the voltage jump up. See, that? that's pretty high. Um, so now I got this piece of plastic. Well, let me put this rubber foam on there so it helps to give more of a consistent pressure across the battery because those LED leads have a little bump in them. All right, and we're going to take this little clamp here. So right now it's at 2.2. It varies because I guess the I added a little bit more water, and that's why the voltage is down. Uh, I think I forgot to say that just earlier. Um, so by adding the voltage to one of these, or, or adding uh, water to one of these while it's lit, we'll make it shut off, and then after it completely absorbs, it comes back to life. So here we're going to clamp this down. Oh, Closer to the edge of the table. And put a clamp. Okay. So now we have the clamp down, and I, I, I pushed it back in here, and the pressure uh, gave me high volts, and then it started dropping real quick. So I pulled it back out, but here we got 5.2 volts. Um, so we're making, I, I would say, I would say more contact surface area contact by giving it pressure um, it'll slowly come down uh, to the mid to high fours uh, and this is just within this you know short period of testing this but yeah, it's so now we're up to about 1.25 1.30 uh, voltage per cell at this point um, let me see I can Put one of these LEDs on there. See if I can get it to uh, light up. Let's see. Just touching it on the leads. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Now with the LED on, we have 2.9 volts, and it's it's burning pretty bright. Um, and bouncing back up towards 5 volts. So I'm thinking that these things are probably around 1.25, 1.3 maximum volts. I mean, if, if we saw it there, then, you know, if the battery was perfectly built, um, we should see over 5 volts from these consistently if they were, you know, professionally made, I would say, uh, for battery use. I just wanted to show this update. Thanks.